it's Ruby and today I'm going to be talking to you about studying during the Christmas season. Um, number one, how we can manage our time over Christmas and how we can continue to be productive and revise for January exams. And number two, how we can actually enjoy studying over Christmas, how we can make it something which we look forward to and which we enjoy instead of sitting there thinking, oh, this is a waste of time. You know, yes, I'm doing something productive. I'm doing something which I need to do for school or university but at the same time, I don't really enjoy doing it. Christmas is a wonderful, wonderful time of the year. Feeling cozy with family, with friends, feeling grateful for the things that we have. It's just a season filled with kindness. It's a beautiful, beautiful month, December. And so we don't really feel like we want to waste it, you know, studying, that can happen all throughout the year. However, Christmas only comes once a year, so I should make the most of it. But we can make the most of it even when we're studying. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. So, you know, how can we make studying during Christmas time fun, how can we still get that lovely festive feeling when we're studying? I know that if I didn't follow these tips and if I didn't aim for this to be the case when I studied, I wouldn't be able to study as much as I do, how much, as much as I did last Christmas um, and the Christmas before. So during year 12 and year 13, I studied a lot during, during December, not so much this year. Yeah, I'm going to be talking you through some things that might be able to help. I'm first of all going to talk to you about it a bit more practically. So I just wanted to firstly touch upon actually planning time and finding time to study because the Christmas season is so, so, so busy. So number one, very, very simple, but block out your time. And lots of people recommend this. I see this all over YouTube. I see it in self-help books. I see it everywhere. Block out the time. Instead of just saying, oh, I've got a lazy day. We're not doing anything this day. Or I'm busy in the evening, you actually put aside maybe six hours or less or more um, where you're going to study that day. That's blocked out in your calendar as an event. So yes, you've booked to go to this party, you've booked to go out for dinner, but equally you've booked for yourself to go and study and actually spend that time concentrating and revising. It's so easy for us to continue to make plans, but if you've got something already there then you're not going to try and fill it because, well I know when I've got gaps in my planner, especially at this time of the year, uh, I want to try and fill it to some degree. I want to I want to think, oh, well, I really want to see this person. I'm free then, I'll do it then. But if it's blocked out in your planner, then you won't find yourself doing that. Um, another thing which does lead on from that is the idea of, okay, it's so easy to get distracted at Christmas because there's so much you have to do, uh, not just study-wise, but there's loads of stuff like Christmas presents, Christmas cards, uh, you know, I don't know, preparing for if you're going to host a dinner, then there are just so many little things that you remember that you've got to do during the Christmas season. And so I think it's really hard for us to just sit and focus. So one thing which I would really recommend, this is something that I've done for about a year now and which really, really works for me is keeping a master to-do list next to you whilst you study. So this means that when you suddenly think, oh my gosh, I was meant to send a message to this person about travel arrangements to this event, for example, you know, to this party. Instead of then taking out your phone immediately, sending a message because you think you're going to forget, you have a little to-do list on the side, on the side of your desk. Mini post-it notes work really well or just having, just basically having a piece of A4 paper and then writing at the top in very nice handwriting, master to-do list. This kind of thing. <laughs> This is quite nice and daunting. Uh, this is my one from October. So basically, whenever you think of a task, all you do is you just quickly jot it down and then you don't have to get distracted when you're working. You just write it down and then you get on with the rest of your work. So you're not having to think about it and you're not having to worry about not remembering it, which means that you can just concentrate fully on in during that time that you have blocked out. A third thing which I think is really important, and this is a very general point, very generic, but it is to work smart, not hard during the Christmas season. Because there is so much stuff that you want to do over Christmas and you don't want to waste the Christmas season. Um, not, like, that's, that's completely phrased wrong, but you don't want to spend all of your time over Christmas studying. You do want to do other things and if you can work smart, you work productively, that means that you're, you are actually going to have time to do those other Christmassy things that you do want to do. And my fourth practical tip is to study on the go, so study when you can, because Christmas season is so busy and 
you want to maximize those empty minutes that you just spend maybe scrolling through Instagram or literally just standing there passively because you don't know what to do. I'm planning on filming a video very, very soon on how to study on the go. So when you're traveling, by the way, sorry, I'm wearing a coat. It is a Christmas video, so I feel like I'm justified. It's just that I like wearing coats because they're nice and warm, <laughs> even inside. Um, okay, so to hear my tips on how to make studying fun over Christmas, then do stay tuned for a video which will be going up tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it useful and have a productive week.